everyone here seems to be just like us. Except for the... Heading out? I'm off to Helioborg. I hear the results of some new Spyrex research just came in. Oh, right. You did say you were an engineer. Well, hey, Bill and Buddy! Where's our chow? I put together a real nice bread back in my apartment. Feel free to dig in. Thank you so much! If you don't mind me asking, where exactly did you find us? Hmm? Out past Helioborg, where I'm heading now. You were sprawled at the foot of the hill on the other side of the complex. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Them too. Really? My granddaughter and I both have a cardiovascular disease, and we've had medical spyrixes implanted to help with them. I bet it hurt really bad when you put it on, huh? Yes, it did. But you just have to bear the pain. Because without spyrix, we wouldn't be able to live normal lives. I see. You're so brave for being so young. Yeah, totally! My grandma always says that. Thanks to the advance in medical Spyrex technology, we've been able to overcome our illnesses. We'll never forget what Dr. Mathis did for us. May his soul rest in peace. Mathis? That's the same as your last name, Jude. Dr. Mathis is the one who created my Spyrex. But he died in a boat accident a long time ago. Uh, this whole time, I only saw Spyrex as harmful. I never considered it could actually help people. everyone's plans from here on out. If we head to that spot Balin mentioned, we might be able to get back to Rize Maxia. Oh, I see. That's why you asked. Although, I'm not planning to leave until I find a way to help both Rize Maxia and Olympias. Is there any way we can help? Of course. I doubt I could figure things out alone. Just having you here would be a huge morale boost. We mustn't underestimate the circumstance, though. We must contend with Spyrex devices, the Otherworld Reactor Plan, and even Gaius. That's why you want us all to decide for ourselves. Try to head back home or figure things out here, huh? Wow, that's tough. Hmm. I realized something once we landed on this side. We can't eliminate Spyrex from Olympias. But we still need to get rid of the schism. It's a real conundrum. I want to figure out what I can do about this. Well, you know I won't agree to anything that hurts my own people. But we need to find something to help the spirits as well. I have something to say. If we can't eliminate Spyrex, then I will take the extra effort to watch over and protect the birth of new spirits, so their numbers stay intact. But that means... Spirits are another part of nature's cycle, just like humans. I will find a way to support them both. You sure about this? I've thought long and hard about this. Jude, if you're convinced that we can't get rid of Spyrex, then I won't argue. 
But we can't waste time debating this. We need to head to Helioborg. She's got a point. Any place working on Spyrix research is probably involved in the Otherworld reactor plan. Can I get answers from everybody by the time we get there? Okay. Mm. Is my role to offer support, or is it to lead? From the nature to the culture, everything on Olympia seems so different. This is your homeland, right, Alvin? Yep. The source of the Spyrix you hate so much. You don't sound too happy about it. Didn't you want to return here more than anything? Well, I thought I did. I wonder why I wanted to return to this doomed world. It is true that its spirits have withered and its plants and animals are disappearing. But Olympias isn't over yet. The people here brought this upon themselves by using Spyrix. You aren't even the real Maxwell. Do you really intend to save humans like that? Yes, this is a human problem. And as you know, I'm quite fond of humans. Whether I'm Maxwell or not is beside the point. <laughs> I see. Glad to hear it. Did you hear they're planning to raise the Spyrix tax again? It's all because of that Otherworld reactor plan thing, right? Honestly, what is the government doing? I'm sure everything will turn out fine on Reze whatever without our help. So you think we should just leave them be? Hey, nobody said that. We should pay their people fair compensation and promise to help them with their development. Pay them with what, though? Our tax money? It's not like we're any better off. Well, you'd hope the government thinks of something instead of digging into our pockets. Either way, someone's got to figure out this energy crisis or we'll all be gone in a few years. Ugh, I can't even worry that far ahead. I've got my hands full just worrying about today. I guess you can't make everyone happy. Must be nice to be so self-absorbed. That's just how people are. I'd be much more scared of a society where people were afraid to speak their minds. Yeah. That's true. Helioborg is under attack! What? You should turn around and leave. It's not safe here. I just don't understand why anyone would attack the Spyrix Research Center. Who's behind the attack? We have no idea. The attackers were using Calculatrix without Spyrixes. How is that even possible? What's that? Spirit Arts produced using Spyrixes. If the attackers didn't need them, I think we know who they are. Sounds like Gaius is already making his move. Let's go. I want to make sure Balin is safe.
It must be shocking for the Olympians to see us using arts without Spyrex. Not so much shocking as terrifying. To us, it's as if you have supernatural powers. But in a lot of ways, it's Spyrex technology that's more powerful. People fear what they cannot understand. That's why we're so quick to discriminate against other races and cultures. Alvin, were you scared when you first came to Riza Maxia? I was. The people seemed like monsters to me. And how do you feel now? Now? Uh, you know, some are good, some aren't. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> it sounds like young men from Olympias start out quite naive. <laughs> and old men are condescending no matter which world they come from. So how far is Olympias from Riza Maxia? Uh, it really isn't about distance. They're, like, separated by an impassable wall. Oh, I know! Rize Maxia and Olympias are about as far apart from each other as men and women are. An impassable wall? Does that mean we can never go home? I won't be able to see Drisel again? That's horrible! No, no, it'll be okay. After all, we're all together. You have Mila, Jude, Rowan, and even Alvin. You know they'll figure something out. That's true. You're here too, Leia! Yeah, but it's not like I'll be any help. That isn't true. When you're here, everyone's happier. Let's all go back to Rize Maxia together! Okay, it's a promise.
but a dreary landscape. Is this another one of Eifried's arcs? What's it doing on Olympias? There are words appearing on it. My name is Eifried. I am an explorer seeking a foreign world known as Reza Maxia. When I depart for it, I will gather the treasures I have collected in my adventures on Olympias, and place them in arcs near my hometown as a gift to the next generation of adventurers. Huh. So Eifried was an Olympian. He must have found some way to cross the schism to Reza Maxia. And then he never made it back to Olympias. <laughs> never figured there'd be someone else besides you guys crazy enough to go running off to other worlds. <laughs> well, let's pay our respects to our predecessor and help ourselves to his loot. Yuck! It's so dark and cramped! It's just like our room in Hamel. Where 
is everyone? A Spyrex casing. This looks like a storage space for Spyrexes, but the contents are destroyed. Did Gaius do this? Whoever it was leveled the larger facilities and warehouses, but left the other buildings intact. In other words, their goal is not an invasion or to wipe out the military. Mila, we should hurry and look for Balin. Right. I can't believe the size of this facility. Everything in Olymp... It's like a city in and of itself. Are you okay? Thank you. I think I'll be okay now. This place seems deserted. Do you know where everyone went? Some people got out early. I don't know about the rest. It was pretty chaotic. Did you see the attackers? The soldiers hit us like a wave. They were led by some guy with a giant sword and a flying woman. Well, that settles it. That it does. They told us they'd destroy every last Spyrex, then they ordered us to retreat. Sounds like something he'd say. Wait, he can't be. Gaius must be planning to eliminate every Spyrex in the entire world. Just to stop the Otherworld reactor plan? Isn't that a bit extreme? No, it's a sound plan. Olympias' situation won't change as long as it has access to Spyrex. Even if the current plan is halted, someone else will eventually come up with something similar. By eliminating Spyrex, Gaius is going right to the heart of the two-world problem. Sounds like a lot of work. But if Gaius is anything, he's determined. Damn it. That puts Balin in danger. Excuse me, do you know anything about someone named Balin? He's a Spyrex engineer. You might find him over in the Spyrite research wing. What? 
Officially, it's called the Military Research Wing, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Those freaks are probably still wreaking havoc over there. I'm sure he's okay. Don't worry about me. You just worry about Gaius. Yeah, but still... You already have enough on your plate. Your job is to keep moving forward, remember? R right. We don't have time to worry right now. The sappy stuff will have to wait. All right, thanks. So where's this military research wing anyway? Just ahead. If it's still standing. Be careful. You too. You sure you're gonna be okay? Save it, I'm fine. Thank you. 